All right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan battle video. We're going to go hop into the Supreme Battle Spectacle. We're going to fight Trunks. Um, now, Trunks is a is a, like kind of a very interesting fight in that very fast you get right into a very tough boss who locks and the fight can get pretty toxic. I think that this is a great display of how good the Exchange Majin Buu is at the start, right? Um, there's some similarities I would actually probably say, I think Kefla and Gotenks, probably at the end, like, Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, like, I would trust them over Tech Super Boo. But I think Fat Boo and Evil Boo, like, the first two transformations, are way better than Base and Super Saiyan Gotenks and Kefla, is kind of the way I would describe it. Uh, okay, God damn it. Alright, we brought LR Super Boo. Remember, LR Super Boo is, like, the biggest, like... Like, one of the biggest, like, discrepancy characters there is where, like, I hate Super Boo, but, like, it seems like most of the community loves LR Super Boo. I, I don't know why. I couldn't tell you, but, uh, you know, I mean, who, if we're, if we want to run the tech banner unit, Pure Evil Boo, who I think is really quite good, it's just as long as we're on a Mott Gym power team, I, I mean, it's like LR Super Boo is kind of like that last character, right? That's where, like, we get one su good sub EZA, we get part two LR Kid Boo. And then LR Super Boo's bitch ass is off the team. Razor, like, lightning speed. Asteroid level speed. I'm kicking LR Super Boo to the curb. Um, but I did want to start this run, like, with Majin Power. He's not actually going to super... I mean... Don't worry. We have the dodge build on Super Boo, man. We can... We, we can deal with it. We will dodge build. If I mean, at the same time, if Chunks just snipes us in slot three... Ugh. All right, let's see. Again, I was eager to jump it. There's no way, dude. Come on. Ah, oh, he's guarding. He's guarding. We're fine. We're, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, remember, w with the Boo team, unless we're going up against Supreme Battle Spectacle Gogeta, uh, like, a lot of these bosses, in truth, I, I don't think that they can actually kill us. Right? What are they going to do? Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and Rock Exchange 2 and slot 1. Um, we, of course, are going to have 7 out of 7 next to Dokkan Fest Fat Boo, which is good. Uh, Mr. Goat back here does need to get his rainbows, although there's no attacks coming at him, so it doesn't really matter too much. All right, 9 million. Sure, we'll take it. Again, remember that, uh, I mean, all, all three of them have 70% damage reduction. That's what's really crazy, right? Is Fat Boo, Evil Boo, and Super Boo, all three of them have 70% damage reduction, which I think is really, really, really good. Okay, sure. Uh, normal. Damn, all right. We're going to need those additional supers. I, I probably would like to say... Dude, he did a super than a normal. Are you kidding me? That's nothing. Um, I probably would like to say Fapu's revive to till the end. Although... Oh, okay. Well, you guys know how I like to do these videos. I mean, I was most excited for Exchange Majin, Dude, Exchange Majin Buu to perform really well against um str trunks should we just float evil boo here because uh i mean exchange boo is gonna get killed by sort of hope trunks super boo can't he can't live sort of hope like there's no way he, uh, he does not have a, what it takes 70 percent damage reduction isn't that big of a deal with usually like the 400k defense super boo is rocking um some people were were saying that they wanted me to put a, de raw, a defensive equip on his bronze slot. We could do that. So that would take us to 21 additional 15 dodge. We did, I mean, we did literally dodge Supreme Battle Spectacle Gogeta Super, which would have killed us. Like, it would have just one shot at us. So, I mean, it's like... Because, like, you know, like, a, a the bronze equip certainly would help, but I don't know that... It, like, it wouldn't have pushed us into range where we would have been living the Super and then all the normals and all that nonsense, right? I, I mean, I could always try it. Um, so we got to remember here with Trunks, like whoever we float off very well could get locked into slot one at this portion of the fight. Um, I'm not sure, though, if what I want to do is I want to float off Skinny Boo, Pure Evil Boo here. I'll, uh, I'll float off Evil Boo right here. Um, only thing, I guess, it's probably not going to happen, but like... Boo Gotenks isn't guarding, and then he gets, like, torn up right here. 
I guess that's within the realm of possibility. Wait, no, were we... Were we... The, the only thing sometimes... So, if the turn started and we were under 90% HP, he's guaranteed guarding. I am not 100% sure if we were or not. Because I know we took that damage last turn. But remember that Fat Boo does heal at the end of turn as well. So, I guess all of the healing all over the place, you know, really going to have to uh, lock in for some of those turns. All right, so we're going to get uh, Evil Boo right here. Now, Evil Boo, like, again, against Sword of Hope, we probably don't even want to transform into Super Boo. And Evil Boo is who we're looking to probably use instead. Uh, okay, well, one reason I didn't mind Super Boo on this, in this run for sure, at least, is Super Boo is going to have type advantage, which could help us. Um, we are debuffing. Is that Fear and Faith with them? Yeah, it is. Okay. So they have Fear and Faith, so they're lowering Trunks' defense. Remember, Trunks does have like 7 million defense or something like that. I'm going to have to float off Fat Boo, unfortunately, but I mean, we're not going to float off the showcase character. I could. I mean, if we float. So if we do this, if we float him off, when he comes back, we can go into Super Boo. But again, Super Boo is not built for Sword of Hope Trunks. It's type disadvantage. There's no, like, he, he, there's no way. Like, it's, um, yeah, so we'll, we'll rock this. All right, let's see how we do. Uh, hopefully Super Boo is guarding. It'll at least knock a little bit of damage down. Oh, boy. No hidden potential system dodge. Okay. All right, well, he did guard. Sure. Um, I mean, I can't hate on it, right? Because, again, it's the damage he takes, like, in context of the team we're on. Like, that does matter. Like, it's like, you live the super? Well, tough shit, Trunks. You didn't one-shot us? Time for us to just heal it all back up. So, it's like, we de we could definitely... Super Boo is definitely good enough for this fight. Um, at the end, well, I, I mean, yeah, on this team. Because we will be putting Exchange Boo in front of Trunks' super attack. You know, let him kind of handle business. But, like, if we're playing to win, right, if the aliens have the lasers pointed at the Earth and I got to win in one try, or else... Double super, huh? Well, I mean, if this kills him, we just revive anyway. Although, we lose our revive for sort of hope. We did live. Okay. Uh, he gets locked right there. Sure. Haha, <laughs> dude, it's so stupid. That's so dumb. Watch this. Now we're going to transform into Buhan and we're going to heal even more. Watch this. <laughs> it's not super common, I think, to see Trunks double super. I think it's because he usually, like, he needs to pretty much super right away in order to be able to double super, right? Like, he's not, like, over... Like, because thing with, like, Broly... In original movie Boss Rush and Red Zone movie Boss Rush, is that Broly attacks so many times per turn with kind of a lower cooldown that you'll see him double super quite often. Whereas like Trunks or uh, remember the the Goku Black and Zamasu stage, like they didn't double super that often. All right, he just supered, so I think Mister Goat in slot one right there is good because we're only going to be able to get three. So let's do that. Uh, we'll just go ahead and get these physical orbs. Heal us back up to full. Look at that. We're just back up to full. Like, do you see how insane that is? Like, Trunks supered and had us down to, like, 10% HP. We are, like, 10% HP or something like that. And before Trunks gets a chance to attack again, we're just back up to full HP. Oh, that's so dumb. <laughs> it's so dumb. Bro, man. We get, like, uh, damn. Like, I'm just saying. Like, if they give us part 2 LR Kid Boo, and he's just, like, you know, like, I, I really want to say, like, you know, if he's, like, an inner circle. Like, if we're, like, you know, like, yeah, like, UI Goku's really good, but he's not Kid Buu. That's, like, where, like, this Majin Power Team would be insane, right? Or it's, like, you know, Evolution Blue Vegeta's, like, he's, dude, he's so good. He's so good. His tanking and all that, but he doesn't have this thing Kid Buu does. That's what I want. Part 2 LR Kid Buu dropped on this team in that LR Super Buu slot. Oh, my God, dude. We're crushing it. Um, now, I would like... Th funny enough, I think the Exchange Majin Buu character... Um, I think they went too much... Su the, the reason the character, I think, feels a bit iffy to me... I mean, I still will probably rank them over Kefla and Gotenks and stuff like that. Probably. Um, but the thing about it is, 
Super Boo towards the end, they geared him more offensively, and it's like, I, like that that is good for the Majin Power team to do some damage, but I like you know it's like, dude, the whole offensive play style, that's some shit that almost does not exist in real players who are playing the game. That's just like the the beta private server lifestyle of you know no stakes, nothing matters, like infinite like friends and shit like that. Like it's it's like that that is not like really even a thing. So. I think had this character right here, you know, if Super Boo, you tone down his damage a bit and just funnel that into defense and he's 500 times better, right? Like, it's just, it's just a simple fact. Now, this should be good for us to see. So, we, remember, Evil Boo does have 50% dodge, right? And then he does still have 70% damage reduction. So, like, we're, we're going to be looking pretty good right here. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we could. This is fine. We could just do this. Sure. Uh, just get Super Boo whatever's the most. Sure. And bam. Uh, oh, I realized we're not really doing too much damage to Trunks, huh? But uh, that's why Evil Boo's on the team. Evil, Evil Boo with his guaranteed crits, guaranteed additional. Just dodge it. <laughs> nice. Um. So I probably. It probably would be a good idea to leave him in this form against Sword of Hope. Again, there's no way we would be able to tank. Yeah, hit him potential system additional normal. And that's the thing, like, Super Boo, like, can have, I think, like, his defense is a, is really a lot better once he does get the hit him potential system additional super. But it's like, you know, like, there's nothing I could have done right there. We did get the hit him potential system, but it was a normal, right? It's a 50 50 proc. That's, like, having to rely on hit him potential system additional supers, like, I'm good on that, man. No way. No way. So, when it comes to, like, the elite bosses, even if he hit, gets hit right here, we'll live. Yeah, we have one HP. All right, well, I mean, Evil Boo, I would prefer if you dodge next time. Um. All right. Who's locked? It's him. I mean, we should be able to just leave it like this and we'll revive, but... Damn, I mean, that that is a bummer to lose the revive. I could go Sushir. Should I just go Sushir? <sighs> I mean, the extra stats would be good for Fat Boo. We will just go for the revive here. Because let's say we get the Sword of Hope. I'm going to put Evil Boo in front of the Sword of Hope. We live the turn. Then restrictions are unlocked. And I'll just double go Sushir and we'll win. Right. And people understand, you know... We're not like, oh my god, selling out to win. I gotta explain this every single time to explain some of the moves I make because people just don't get it. They'll never get it ever. I'll always have to explain it over and over. Um, but yeah, that's that's the point. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we'll get the revive right here. This is good. I mean, the fat boos at least are going to be buffed nicely right here. All right, Evil Boo locked right there. Uh, there's one attack. Yeah, see, I don't... The thing is, though, I mean, transforming into Super Boo could be good right here. Maybe I should do it. I mean, I feel like if I... Because, okay, Evil Boo taking hits is weaker defensively than Super Boo. Of course, right? So, I, I think we will we will take it into Super Boo for, for the, the first run. Now, upon doing a bunch of videos of these world of this world tour, uh, this might sound surprising to people, but um, I do want to reverse course and go full dodge, secondary additional. Right now, we're kind of like full additional, secondary dodge. I do, I think, want to flip that because I don't even... This is just more of a personal preference type thing, right? Whereas I could understand people saying they don't want to rely on dodge. Like, I could get that. Yeah, we do want to make sure to get this. So, 
This this will be good for this trunks right here, by the way, because this is gonna be guaranteed crits with four, with four rainbow orbs. That's two hundred percent attack and guaranteed crits. And we have all seven links activated. So this is a really good turn right here. Um. Oh damn, I, I kind of lost track. Don't please don't separate away. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I mean, we're gonna live because we revived, but it's gonna hurt. I mean, what am I gonna put out our fucking super boom slot one man? God damn it. Okay, dude, sure. Whatever, kid. Thanks. I mean, it's fine. We live. We'll be able to revive it back. It's just no stacks for Boo. Remember, because Trunks does a sort of hope, and then he does a lot of goddamn damage, man. Like, his normals are a threat to these Majin Power characters. It's not as bad as Gogeta. We actually got it. Nice. Oh, dude. We could use Fat Boo's Ghost Usher. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Nice. Okay, that was great. That was great. We actually got the hidden potential system additional. That is gargantuan because that means we have the extra defensive buff for Trunks right here. And then this is where my goat, Fat Boo, can say, you're not killing us right here. Uh, reminder to everyone, again, I'll just keep reminding over and over and over and over and over and over. We're not trying to win. Um, I'm intentionally now holding back so we don't kill Trunks. I do not want to kill Trunks right here. And, I mean, between Buhan and Evil Boo, we very, very, very easily could kill Trunks right here. Easily. Trunks and Gogeta do so much damage, but they're squishy as kind of like, you know, like, like, if if, if, Goji, if they wanted to make Gogeta like an unbalanced nightmare, he would have red zone Broly health. Because then you wouldn't be able to escape getting hit by his super and having to live all that shit. But the way Gogeta's constructed right now, you know, he's only got, what is it, 70 million HP? Or is it 75? I think it's 70? He has 70 million HP. You can kill, because Gogeta's so deep into the fight, you can kill Gogeta so easily before Gogeta can kill you because it's so deep into the fight. Like, all your characters are built up. You have your blue fusions transform. Oh my God, Fapu, stop it, dude. Uh, let's just do 50 crits. Thanks, man. Nice, thanks, Fapu. Yes, good, okay. Uh, Evil Boo's not killing right here. Hopefully we don't get the hidden potential system additional, because these are guaranteed crits. He has a guaranteed additional super. We're good, we're good, Whew, okay. Thank God we gave uh, the the candy or the cookies to um, Buhan. If Buhan had full key, we would have been not looking so good. That's <laughs> so stupid. That's so stupid. Oh my God. Because we're, we're, ne we're never ever we're never ever getting the hidden potential system additional super again. It's never happening again. Like it's we'll get the hidden potential system with super and it's gonna be a normal. You gotta be fucking kidding me, man. It's so stupid. Of course, like, that's the way it works. Like, now we get all the addition, like, all the crits for Fafu, all the additionals. Now it triggers right here. So dumb. Oh, we gotta win. Who cares? Pointless. All right, well, let's go right back in. We need to see Super Boo or Evil Boo against Sword of Hope. All right, guys, we're back. I'm so bothered by what happened last time. Damn it, dude. Ugh. We're definitely not gonna kill um, on this turn, right? You know, we're not Buhan and Evil Boo and stuff like that. So we don't have to worry about that. But if you guys notice, um, like we haven't even had a chance to transform Evil Boo into Super Boo yet. Um, I think I think we will, we did get a super attack last turn with Evil Boo, so he'll at least have defense up. Um, I think we'll just transform into Super Boo and put him in slot one, we'll see how it goes. Damn, dude, it's so hard to get Super Boo with that second stack up and we did have it but evil boo and buhan and fat boo did too much damage it's so funny like I, a lot of times because with with my like again with my videos like we're trying to show what the character is capable of right so like that oftentimes can be pretty tough okay well we did debuff trunks so maybe that'll have an impact for super boo to look a little bit better i'll take it sure uh, remember, that's going to be one thing that's going to be huge. I mean, people haven't 
I mean, he doesn't come out till next week, but Tech Ultimate Gohan, that's going to be a pretty big deal. Uh, we already saw it in the video, so we could transform. We are next to Buhan, which means we would have... Well, we do have Metamorphosis, but who is going to get us better? It's the same. 364 is what we're at right here. 364. Yeah, I, I just... I, I mean, ugh, damn. I just feel like they didn't give him enough defense, but... It's like, if he really was... Like, if he did have a little bit more defense, right? Uh, like... He would be like it, it. It's just way above the level that they typically are making these easy ATURs. Because like you know, how many times has Ingotanks died for us? How, how many times have I seen global players summon Kefla dying for them? By the way, this friend care like this person who is a friend is trolling. Ha, level one hundred and fourteen for Fat Boo. Come on, bruh. The Fat Boo like was decent. Like we got two, you know, um, we we got two dupes in here. You know, we got some link levels, but like not even level one twenty, bruh. Come on. All right, uh. I mean, it's nice that Trunks was debuffed. We'll say that. Let's see if that matters. See what happens here. Not a super? Okay. Huh? It's a couple times we've seen that lately. All right, let's see. Trunks is debuffed. Yeah, against the big boss attacks... Because, like, dude, like, Trunks was the... Like, even if we got the hit and potentials, like, yeah, like... I, like, you could give him additionals and, like... I mean, I, I, I would say live in that fantasy land of being able to get that up. But it's like, if you... Like, the role that this guy would be best at would be a defensive slot one, I would say, for Fat Boo and stuff like that. Like, I don't know, like, him... Like, making this... Gearing this guy more towards damage... Like, gearing him towards damage makes him worse. Um, when it comes to the big bosses, we definitely need to be an evil boo. Like, against Gogeta, um, against Trunks, like, like the 3 million super plus bosses. Like, like again, you know, people see 70% damage reduction. To be fair, a lot of it is global players haven't gotten the ninth anniversary meta yet. And they're like, oh, dude, like, what more can you ask for? It's like, well, defense. <laughs> we could ask for defense where you could live. Like, Trunks did 900,000 damage to us while debuffed to a character with 70% damage reduction, right? Because these bosses are super in for over 3 million now. Um, he is still very good, though. Like, it's just, when it comes to, like, he's not going to die to the early phases of bosses. But when we get towards the end, like, yeah, I'm going to have to, um, and, like, I don't know, a defensive equip, like, is a defensive equip going to change what we just saw either? I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, because we could probably fill him up. Like, I could give him a, a gold defensive equip. We can give him the bronze defensive equip. And I might even have a defensive equip for silver to give him. Like, a ton of defense. But then, like, you know, we do, like, neuter his actual, abi like, ability to do these abilities, additionals and dodges and stuff like that. So, yeah, very good. I mean, that's why I would say... Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and Super Saiyan 2 Kefla um, are stronger than Super Boo. Easily, 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 easily. So, let me know what you guys think. Um, I will catch y'all next time. I guess we'll, we'll do maybe Cell Max next.